Pile Echo Tester Spectre 4. The tester evaluates the pile length, detects flaws, and retrieves data from the Seismo spectral profile. The Spectre 4 allows for two-channel synchronous analysis of the object response to the hammer below. The data is evaluated in the frequency and the time domain. Turning the tester on and pre-starting procedure. Press and keep press the button on the side of the tablet until it starts up. Turn on the sensor. The indicator turns green when the sensor is ready for work. The connection between the sensor and the tablet is carried out via the Bluetooth wireless channel. Unblock the tablet by dragging the lock symbol upwards. Start the program by pressing the icon. Measurement Procedure For the test to be effective, the top of the pile should have a smooth horizontal surface, consist of clean concrete and free of debris, latents, and bennonite. Testing a pile with a head which was not properly prepared may yield misleading results. Use viscous mastic, MTR rubber, plasticine, or lytol to ensure a stable contact of the sensor surface with the pile surface. Attach the sensor to the pile head. Enter the object name. Pile number and wave velocity in the second line of the program window. The wave velocity in the pile can be determined using the typical velocity valve for this type of pile, with the ultrasonic device Pulsar 2 or similar, with the Spectre 4 tester with a second accelerometer or measuring electronic hammer as recommended in the manual. The following settings are recommended to select before the first measurement. In the Mode menu, select Manual Processing Mode, Menu Item Signal for displaying the signal in the time domain, Type of sensors or hammer connected to the tester. In the Processing menu, enter the appropriate expected length of the pile. In the Tester menu, set the amplification factor to 0 decibel for each channel. To enter the measurement standby mode, Press the Start button after the preparatory procedure is completed. In this mode, the tester waits for a signal that exceeds the trigger threshold. Struck the pile top with a hammer. The tester records the signal from the sensor, displays the signal on the screen, and automatically saves it. If the tester does not display a signal as a result of the blow, you should increase the amplification factor of the first channel and repeat the blow. After recording of the signal, you can perform correction of processing parameters and signal display to facilitate its interpretation. Turn on the integrator, low and high frequency filters. Set the amplification so that the amplitude of reflection is approximately equal to the amplitude of the blow. To increase the stability of measurement results, you can enable the option Signal Average of 3 Blows. To add a comment on the measurement results, press the Comment button to open a window for recording a comment. When moving the sensor to another measurement location, press the stop button to avoid false signals. Viewing the results. To view the results saved in the memory, click on Open File or Select Folder. In the window that appears, click on the desired file or folder and then the Select button. If a folder is selected for viewing, the item with the name of the current file will be displayed on the left of the screen on the bottom of the menu. When pressing on this item, the full list of files in this folder is displayed. Pressing on the file name changes the currently viewed file. To delete the current file, press on the Delete File button and then confirm it in the dialog box that appears. Creating Reports To create a report for the current signal, select Create Report in the File menu.
the report will be automatically created and saved in PDF format to the program folder. To view the report, find it in the file system and open it by pressing. To print a report, copy it to your computer using a USB cable.